and he got up. We got a ferry to catch. We were heading to North Hughes today, so Amy's went for a shower, and I need to get out of my bed and put this bed away. See you soon. We are at Luskin Tire Beach. There's our big jackets on. It's not that cold though, is it? No, it's not that cold in fairness, but it was raining quite a lot overnight. And not, really, a bit today. not really thought about this, have we? How are we going to get across the water? Oh, how do you get across? You need to jump. Actually, how do you get across? I'm back! <laughs> I made it. We're at Luskin Tire Beach <laughs> in Isla Harris. We're just going to go down and see what this looks like, aren't we? Yes. It's actually quite a nice morning. Yes. Got the drone, so we'll put that yes. up as well. Your new toy. <laughs> my new toy. You're pretty excited about your new toy, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get a YouTube channel. Get a drone. He's at it. Get a life. <laughs> Car park at Luskin Tire Beach. There's a toilet block and there's a water tap here. Um, now, it says no overnight parking at the car park, but there's a few spots along the road, isn't there? Uh -huh, yep. That you could overnight in, then you could come here to get down on the beach. Uh, there's also a cemetery here, so you need to be respectful of that uh, if people need to get access to the cemetery and park there. But yeah, it's lovely. It's raining now, but it's still a lovely, lovely spot. So we're just going to head back to the van because we need to go and catch... We need to drive down to Leverborough to catch the ferry across to North Hughes now. Look at the public toilets here. Alright, so you can stay here for £7 a night. Uh -huh. So £7 a night you can park here for and there's a, to a tap. So that's why there's vans parked here, right? Oh, yeah, so you're not allowed to park in this section of the car park. You park in that section of the car park and you put your money in the top, the, the tin. Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? So this is a camping spot that the local community in Harris have provided to prevent roadside parking. Now it's £5 to stay here overnight. It's a donation. You can leave, you can do it online. You can do it down at the, the public toilets at the end of the road. The beach down there is absolutely stunning. It's Luskin Tire Beach. That's a great spot. You can probably get maybe about three vans in here. Uh, we are just stopped off to show you this, but we're on our way to catch a ferry, so we'll not be staying here. But what a great spot with a great view. Um, there's a few spaces to park here, there's not many, so I think if 
you want to get a space, you'd need to be pretty early, wouldn't you? I think during the summer it would be pretty ramp. Mm. There's, there's, there's pull-offs off the side of the road, they're not massive. I think it's okay if you get a smaller camper van. Yeah. I think if you come here with a massive motorhome, you'd probably get yourself a new campsite. Because the roads are quite small and some of the spaces are quite small. But there's some beautiful beaches, isn't there? Yeah, the, be the beaches are... are well, they always say the Caribbean, don't they? The beaches are sensational. If you're into paddleboarding or surfing, get your ass over here. Yeah, surfing, the, the waves are actually incredible. I never, uh, like, you think of like, places like Cornwall for the waves, and I never thought of Lewis and Harris for the waves. Yeah, they're no, absolutely brilliant. So we just came off the, the ferry at Bernie near North Hughes and behind this wall here, just at the ferry terminal, there's a chemical disposal point. It's absolutely free, you can empty your toilet there. And then over at the other side here, just at that yellow box, there's a, there's a water tap there as well. So there you go. Another good facility provided by Calmac. So, we've arrived in North Uist, it's miserable outside, it's wet, it's windy, uh, so we stopped at the co-op to get some food, uh, stock up some food here at Solas. Uh, there's also a, a cheeky little water tap at the side of the co-op building here. So, we'll go in here and see what they've got for lunch and for dinner. traditional crofting houses. Fantastic. From North Uist, to South of Solas. Look at the beach. We put our van there as well. Didn't know about that. If we did, we'd have stopped there and got some lunch. <laughs> we end up with something out of the co-op. It's a bit wet, but... The skin's waterproof, as they say.
Where are we, small zone? We're going to see Hercules. Now, Hercules. How do you know it's not that way? Because of the top in there. Now, Hercules is the bear that in the 1980s Dulux did an advert. Um, and a bear escaped, and the bear from the advert escaped and it ended up getting found 20 miles away here in North Hughes. And that same bear went on to become the bear in Octopussy, the James Bond movie. So they've made a wee statue for him. So I'm right into James Bond, so we're going to go and see this statue. And we're assuming there's two ways to go here, but we've got paw prints. So I'm assuming that the paw prints mean Hercules is this way. Uh, that could be a complete wrong assumption, but let's go for it. <laughs> so this is Hercules, the famous Hercules. So went missing on the 24th of August 1980 and was found in North Uist in September 1980 so I think all in all it was, the way it worked out it was six weeks the, the bear had went missing and he turned up here so beside it is actually where Hercules the real bear is buried so we'll go and see the burial <laughs> and Andy so, uh -huh. who was the owner according yeah. to those people we've just spoken so, to they managed to obviously lay Hercules here and then we were just speaking to some folks there and the owner is a man called Andy who died a few years ago and uh, he's laid to rest here Andy Robin Yeah Wow Do you think that was a real size him? Go well. Stand yeah. beside him. Do you know? It could well. <laughs> That's plenty. I don't know why you get put. It could well be. I'll give you some bat I'll give you some bat information. Sorry, we've just been speaking to two lovely people who have just told us all about bats randomly. But I'll give you some bear information. So I actually lived in America for a little while when I was in my early twenties and we had bear bells and to scare bears away used to shake a, a special bear bell uh -huh. and that would scare them away and, and you'd have to like act really big and so instead of being scared if you see a bear you would have to like be really tall and really strong and act really big and uh, make loads of noise and apparently that would frighten them away but of course when you see a bear the first thing you want to do is Run. not act big <laughs> <laughs> I was <gonna> say. <laughs> so yeah there's the so what was your bat information the Hercules. Um, there's 17 species of bats in the UK each one eats different insects so they don't encroach in each other's um, position in the bat world. They make a lot of noise that only sonars and things can hear so you need a special detection thing to hear them. They live in bat, well you can put up a bat box and bats can live in bat boxes and if there was no bats we wouldn't have any food in the world because bats get rid of the pests and then the pests obviously can't eat the food. And this was the information we got from Batman and Batwoman <laughs> that we just met. And there's no bats here? No, but there's, there's bat boxes on the trail and they, they yeah. did actually offer you a bat box, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They told you to take number nine. <laughs> take number nine, but we're not taking number nine. No. <laughs> we don't want to be stopped. Because number, number nine was there, is theirs and they did make it. So yeah. they said to us they'd love us to have it because they made it. We don't want stops and searched at um, the ferry. But yeah, we, we, won't be, we won't be taking their bat boxes off them. So, yeah, quite tall. Stay back. I think there's a wild animal in this tree. There is. It's a cheeky monkey. So just up at Langless Wood in, in North East, uh, and thought I'd just show you how they, they cut the peat. So that's the peat that's you can see they've been cutting in and they'll keep cutting in and then they let that dry out a little bit and then that's used for, for, for burning and it heats the houses, so you can certainly see the field it's at different levels where they've been cutting the peat down it's fantastic and then that'll sort of replenish over time very sustainable packed up for the night on the Isle of Berne, just north north of north east this place is amazing 
It's just a big expanse. We're overlooking the sea. Looking over to Harris over there. So it's, a, it's just a farm, just a croft. So there's an honesty box here, so it's 10 quid to stay overnight, which is great value. No services, but absolutely brilliant. So we can deal with this. So it says just a wee honesty box here, so you just put that later off, so you just stick your money in there. I hope it doesn't blow away. Spot this is. Looking over at Harris over in the distance. So Amy's in the van making dinner. There's only us. That van there, and that van there. So I think we're both in the ferry with us as well earlier today, so and it stopped raining, which is a bonus. There's a sandy beach down here as well. I'll let you see this. Just a second. Wonder if that's straight. Looks not bad. Move the van in a minute. I don't know if it's straight enough. Oh, look at this beach! Wow, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Thank you. Right, let's go and get some pizza. Good morning. We're, we've stayed a night in Bernie on just the, the Western Isles, north of North Uist. Tiny little island, population 138. Well, we had another five or six people in it last night because there's three camper vans in this uh, fantastic spot. Ten pound donation, right by the beach. What a place! So, we're going to head over to North Uist, over the causeway, over to North Uist, and then. Travelling all the way down through Benbecula, South Uist, and on the way to Eriskay eventually. But we'll see where we end up stopping before we get there.
I don't know where I'm going. I'm this not is here. really steep. This is really steep. This it's is really. Why are you driving up a big steep? I don't know. Thing? I don't know. Right, we've made it. Look, we're at the top. Nice. Oh. What was so unnecessary? I didn't know that was a door. There's no arms in that field. Jesus Christ! Right, what's the plan? We're going to go to a bin. We're going to go. There's bins there, but I think that belongs to the croft. So I there's. Think this is a house bin, yeah. So there are no services on this site as such, there's no electricity hookups, there's no water, mm. no bins, no toilets, no showers, just a field. Yeah, but, but a great field. The most stunning field <laughs> <laughs> we've ever been on. Yeah. Uh, there's a water tap. Oh yeah. Ten quid a night donation. Should we use the water tap? Uh, it's probably a good idea, it's here. Or should we? Oh no, well, there's one, more up there, there's one, one at the ferry. Yeah, one at the ferry. I just stopped off at the side of the road here to use a, a bin and just noticed that in the water there's, uh, there's quite a lot of seals. I thought it was actually some sort of statue at first, that one. There's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six of them at least. Really close to the shoreline here. They don't often sit this close to the shoreline. Well, need a schoolboy in there. We've, we've got a rule that you never pass a water tap. And what did we do this morning? We've done it, we broke our own rule. We broke our own rule, we passed a water tap. There was a water tap on the, the croft that we stayed at last night. And we thought, we don't need to stop at that. There's a water tap at the Calmac ferry terminal where we're going to empty the, the chemical toilet anyway. So off we went, emptied the chemical toilet. Went to the Calmax water tap and it didn't. It, somebody's cut the end off it or something, or it's broken off. There's a lamb there. Aww. Yeah, little lambs. They're lovely. And the end's been broken off. So I couldn't get my, my hose to attach onto it. So I don't know if they just snap off or if people go around cutting these off. But anyway, so if you're off grid camping, rule number one never pass a water tap. <laughs> so we had to then drive back for five minutes to, to top up the water. So what was. Up. Done the water, we've emptied, we've put the rubbish in the bin, yep. we've emptied the toilet, so. And we got fuel yesterday. We so got fuel, so. And food, so we're sorted. We're sorted. That's us, prepared for another day off grid. Woo!